What is up guys? It is Styx here and today I'm going to be going over this week's Ascendant Challenge. Now, before we get into it, Pet Revenge is in a very odd location today. So if you want to stay and follow along for that, I'm going to do that right here at the beginning of the video. If you're uninterested in the bounty that gives you an extra Dreaming City loot drop, feel free to skip ahead until you see me back at the Devalian Mist's transmat point. Now, either way, you're going to come on in this direction, and her entrance is sort of right outside of the tunnel when you're exiting it towards the uh, temple and such. If you load there, that's fine. Right here, as soon as you enter Rea Silvia, pull a 90 degree left. You will see all the sparrows from her being right here. Once you've grabbed your bounties and your tincture, you can feel free to just go right back to the transmap point from this location. Once you're back here, now we will start getting into the Ascendant Challenge, so feel free to follow along for that. I'll go through this relatively slowly without speeding it up too much, that way you have a surefire way to get there. Because I have been told that unfortunately it is kind of annoying to get to all of this stuff. For some people. Either way, you're going to want to make, make your way through these buildings and stuff until you get to the strand. And you're going to want to just continue across. Try to ignore any enemies. Hopefully they don't blow up your sparrow. Make your way to uh, this over here. I forget what these are called. But either way, it's the building that is another Pet Revenge spawn. Though unfortunately not her spawn for this week. Make your way into this Lost Sector. This law sector is pretty straightforward. It's Felion's Rest. There's actually a couple of the Master and Legend ones. Pop your tincture if you can. You can ignore all of the enemies. Jump on past these guys and just go right into the portal. Now this is Ouroborea. Essentially what this challenge is in general is you've got all these crystals and they're shielded and you need to get the shields off and then you need to break them all. The way you get the shields off is by destroying all of the blights. Now the blights will be in random locations around uh, I, I assume there's some presets, but I don't pay attention to all that really. Now you will see I have picked weapons that are most likely uh, very inefficient for this, just to show you it can be done with weapons that probably aren't the best for it. But I would highly recommend something like a Bastion or uh, a Pellet Shotgun to quickly burst down these Blights, if that's your goal. Especially if you're going for the time trial. Toland is right over here for me. He might be in any other location for you. Uh, he is that white orb. I will say this in video again. That way people understand. When I show you where Toland is, that is not an invitation to do the bounty. The bounty is very bugged. Uh, for like 99% of people, it does not work. So if you try to do the bounty and it doesn't work, it is just bugged. You have not done something wrong. You are totally fine. Either way, we're going to continue on with these blights. And just sort of do a round robin. There's an egg off to the side. Uh, as you can see, the way I'm standing up here, I'm not taking damage from the Blight. Because I'm technically not standing in it, but also standing in it so I can still shoot at it. 
That is something that my comments have told me about before. All right, going to get this last blight. Missed the jump. That's great. All right, as you can see, I've destroyed all the blights and all of the crystal uh, sort of immune shields are gone. So now I just have to break all of the crystals. I'm going to be totally honest with you. I don't see the point in the challenge making you break all, break all the crystals. I suppose there might have been a point when you were a lower light level in Forsaken and the crystals were maybe more tanky or or the mobs could have been way more deadly. I don't know. But either way, you grab the chest. Now you've got the bounty done. I got legs. That's great. So start off by facing the statue for the eggs. And then the first one is 90 to the right. Ignore all the bodies. Gonna continue along this sort of marbled bridge, and there's an egg right over there. All right, well done. I go back to the statue. You're gonna want to go 90 to the left. Continue along this sort of direction until you get to a bridge. There it is, and you'll see off to the right. There is the egg you're looking for. Next, because I forgot the last one, you're going to want to pull another 90 degree to the right from the statue. Follow along the same path that you were going before, except you're going to want to jump over here and over here. All right, and you'll see it right there in the sort of clutches of all that stuff. And then back to my previous attempt, we are going for the bones. So looking at the statue, you'll want to take a 90 degree to the left, same as you did for the second egg, except you're going to want to sort of stay off to the side like this and jump into this sort of temple looking deal or cathedral, whatever you want to call it. Your goal is to get to like the upstairs of it, even though there's no stairs. So as you can see, I like using this pillar here because it's pretty easy to stand on. And it lets me get up here, which lets me just jump right in. If I don't miss. So you want to get right in here. Once you do, come forward a bit and you will see a couple of statues of people. Jump on to uh, the closest of the two. The heads are nice and smooth, so as long as you land on it, you should be fine. And then jump onto the one that is furthest. There should be the bones right here. I've already picked them up, so I don't need them. But if you do need them, there they are. Now, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.